Uh, now taking part in the conversation, Jeffrey Beatty. He is a security consultant who worked on security plans for the Olympic Games in Los Angeles and Barcelona and the Summer's Games in Atlanta as well. Melanie Lomax is a Los Angeles lawyer. She was president of the L.A. Police Commission and worked with community groups on security and policing during the games in her hometown in L.A. And Melinda Liu is a Newsweek correspondent. She has covered Olympic security, counterterrorism measure stories in the past and is just back from Saudi Arabia where there was a security failure in the bombing of the U.S. Army barracks in Dharan. We are very pleased to have all of you here. Jeff, I'm going to start with you because you're the one who suggested that there's been too much emphasis by D.C. police and other security outfits here on reaction to a s predicted scenario rather than preventive measures. What should they have done in that, in that area of prevention that you think they haven't? Well, unfortunately, if you're reacting, you're losing. If you're out there, and we do have some really outstanding reactive capability, uh, and I know uh, I was present at the exercise you showed at the top of the hour. There are reaction capabilities, but when you're doing that, that means that the attack has already occurred. If you're out there reacting to a chemical attack or to a car bomb, uh, we've already suffered serious casualties. There's a thing in terrorism operations called casing detection and attack profile recognition. When terrorists are looking at targets that they want to pick out as potential places to hit, they will evaluate what type of static security, what type of preventative measures are there. You want to try to disrupt that casing activity by having elements in place that deter them from even putting that place on their target list. Also, when the attack actually comes forward, as in the case in Saudi Arabia, there were about four to five minutes of time where that was recognized as an attack. That is not enough time to call 911 and to get people there to react and tow the vehicle away, for example. You have got to have measures in place on site to disrupt the attack profile. And that's why we say if you're reacting, you've already lost. Let's start, Jeff, with if there is anything beyond what the security force is doing that people can do to try and make their own stay safer here. Just about three quick points. First, sure. be alert. Uh, if you see someone abandoning a package, report it. Uh, second, uh, be aware of traditional crime that that too will increase and that not everybody is there at the Olympics to have a good time uh, and therefore guard your personal possessions. And third, uh, try to avoid places that may house threat material. Uh, avoid picking a seat next to a, a, a dumpster or a garbage can or something like that. Uh, traditionally that's where people have put things. So uh, personal awareness uh, can help make the games a safe and fun time.